Welcome to another Remix Single. We're going to talk about concurrent submissions and also how to uh, do a mutation without causing a navigation. So as we've seen so far, all of, our, all of our mutations in the previous videos, we're just using a form and it works the way the browser works and forms do a navigation. It's a location change up here in the URL. Uh, maybe the URL stays the same like it is in this app, but it's a, it's a navigation all the same. And that's the way the browsers do mutations is a form post and navigate to the next page. Well, uh, a really interactive app, uh, that, that, that model doesn't always fit. Uh, it, like like these, these submit buttons right here. Right now, they don't have any pending UI on them. So I'm going to put some pending UI on them, and then we'll see why this, uh, why this model of the browser is, is a little bit limiting and how we can get around it in Remix with use fetcher. So, uh, up here on this list item, what I want to do is I want to add some style to it and change the opacity if I'm deleting this item. So I can know that by asking the transition, is there a submission on here? And if there is, I'm going to go to the form data and uh, get the ID because that's what we're submitting right here. And if that equals the person.id, then we're going to fade this out to 0.25. Otherwise, we'll keep it at 1. So now I've got pending UI on this. It'll look, it'll look pretty nice. Let's check it out. I click on Peter, fades out, and then disappears. That's not bad. All right, let's get Steven back in there. And let's get Peter Parker back in there. Watch this. This is the problem. Navigations are singletons. There can only be one navigation at a time. We saw this in previous videos where we clicked the, vi the button really fast and Remix would cancel those other navigations. So what happens here when I click all three of these quickly? <laughs> That's not good. So what happened was uh, we saw the pending state after we clicked it, it was correct, but then we click the next one and now the pending state moves because the person ID on this transition right here on the form data changed to that other person. Well, I want to be able to indicate that all three of those are deleting all at the same time. And in fact, Remix canceled those uh, requests. Of course, they still make it to the server so everyone still gets deleted, but our UI just feels funny with this. So this is a this is a, a, a scenario, a user experience, or a user, I user, I a user interface thing where uh, forms just aren't quite the right, well, navigations are not quite the right model. Uh, forms are still great. So uh, we're going to switch this over to use fetcher. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to abstract this list item into its own component because we're going to use a hook. And we can't have a variable number of hooks um, because of the way that hooks work. So uh, in order for us to use this hook called use effect from Remix, we've got to pull this out into its own component, which often you do anyway. So I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to name it um, person item. <laughs> uh, that's going to need a key. And then down here, let's make our person item, and it gets a person. We'll return all of that. And let's, uh, we, we still want this opacity thing, right? Let's just kind of move that up here and say, is, uh, let's say, is deleting. And we'll grab this logic out of here. And we know that this logic is wrong because we're not going to be using that transition anyway, but let's just keep using it just for now just so we can make sure that we've got it all right. And uh, I, think, I think everything else should be fine. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, it still works. Okay, so now we're gonna quit using this, um, this singleton transition, and we're gonna just do our own, uh, not our own, we're gonna do a specific mutation for this list item, and then all three of them can be pending at the same time. So let's let's open up the network tab and kind of see how this works before we make that change. So right now, if I click these two, doink, doink, 
we only ever have one of these posts actually active at a time. Put everybody back. I think I spelled that wrong. Yes, I did. Whoa, what on earth happened there? Oh, Michelle. I think that was her name in the movie, right? I might be totally wrong. Okay, so what we want to see now is we want to have three of these all pending at the same time. So here we go. Instead of this transition, uh, we're going to have this thing called a fetcher. And we're going to say use fetcher. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite name in Remix. So this fetcher is kind of interesting. It's got a form on it and it's got a submit method on it and it's got a load method on it. Basically, you can use this as it's just a way to talk to the, the back end, to talk to Remix on the server without doing a navigation. You can just load data, you can change data, whatever you want to do. Um, and so then instead of this form, we're going to change it to fetcher.form. And then down here, actually, that's, oh yeah, here we go. I don't really have to change anything else. Uh, and then I'm no longer going to ask that transition for this. I'm going to ask the fetcher. So this fetcher kind of has its own life cycle. Instead of this singleton navigation of the whole app going from one place to another and submitting things from one place to another, instead we've got this fetcher that's just like its own little thing just inside of this component that's talking to the server and, and doing things. So it now has a lot of the same things. Our, our transition has a state. Our fetcher has a state. Our transition has a sub, uh, submission. Our fetcher has a submission. Um, it's very much like a transition, but just for this component. I think I've said that too many times now. Uh, let's, let's give this a shot. And just, yeah, I think that's all I have to do. Uh, I didn't practice this one before recording. So let's see how this goes. Michelle. Okay, do you see that? It worked exactly the same with just one. Let's put her back. And now we're going to click all three of them quickly. Hey, pretty cool. Oh, and one of these got canceled. Why did that one get canceled? What is that, that get? This is a get that got canceled? We'll get to that in a minute. But you notice that we got um, updates along the way as we clicked these things, and we also got all three of them to be pending at the same time. Let's, let's add everybody back again. Steven is a really hard name to type. And Michelle Jones. All right, let's do it again. Um, I'm gonna slow down the network a little bit, and so just so we can really see it. Click, click, click. Cool. So they can all be pending all at the same time. I want to talk a little bit about all the things that Remix is doing underneath the hood for you with these fetchers. Uh, Remix knows that we've got a certain set of routes on the page. And so when we do one of these mutations, like let's delete Stephen Strange, it does the normal post uh, to update our database and get rid of that person. But then it does a get. It doesn't get for any of the routes that are on the page. We only have one here, but if we had some nesting going on, it might have two or three of these requests to, to get everything in sync with what's on your server. So when you use a fetcher right here, the, the event handlers are all scoped to just this little delete button, but that mutation can affect UI across the whole app. You may have a counter up in the top of like a shopping cart or something and then someone removes it from their cart in some small component somewhere else. You could use the fetcher and you don't have to manage that conversation with your code all the way back up to the top where you've got your little cart icon. Um, just like our code here doesn't have to do any kind of communication with the parent component to reload uh, the users to get the, the current state from the server. So when you do a fetcher.submit or a fetcher.form, Remix automatically synchronizes the data with the server into your UI. It also manages race conditions. So let's, let's make this just like really hard on our database. When we're deleting these people, uh, let's, let's just, let's simulate what it's like in the real world. Locally, my, my, uh, my server processes requests pretty much one at a time. So I don't run into this too often in development, but in production, you do run into this stuff. If we await a new promise, 
And uh, let's, oop, how do I do this? Um, set timeout. Uh, instead of just waiting one second all the time, let's just kind of make this a little bit crazy. And let's say math.random times 2000. And then up here, let's do the same thing because Remix is going to recall this loader. Let's do the same thing here too and just like, just make this a, a total disaster. Um, we don't know when this fetch is going to be landing. Like we're going to have three of these things out there all at different times. And they're going to be landing at different times. And so if you aren't careful with that much asynchrony going on, your app can get out of state uh, very quickly. And, and mo most apps do. Um, because this code is, is really hard to do unless you've got a good abstraction and a, and a single point of entry to do this kind of stuff. Um, so here we go. Let's, let's, in, let's add the chaos in here and throttle this down to fast 3G and see how it goes. You know what, actually I actually want to add Stephen Strange. <laughs> Did you see what happened there? I submitted the form before JavaScript loaded. And so it fell back to just browser behavior. Um, at first I was like, oh no, it's not going to work. And then I remembered, oh yes, it will. Um, who, who else we got in there? Uh, Happy, I don't know his last name, Happy Last. Uh, and then just, let's just do Aunt May. I have an Aunt May. I had an Aunt May. She was a lot of fun. Uh, okay, here we go. What are we doing? Start thinking about Aunt May. All right, so we've just got craziness going on, right? Who knows when each thing is going to land so we can watch the network tab and just, just see the chaos ensue. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so look at what Remix did for us here. Because all of our posts were happening in like random amounts of time and all of our revalidations, remember because Remix is going to revalidate the data after the post, all of our revalidations are also randomized and landing at different times. So you got requests that went out earlier landing later and you've got requests going out later and are landing sooner. So uh, I'm not going to try to f decipher exactly what decisions Remix made here. Uh, I wrote unit tests for that. <laughs> um, but you can see that a bunch of stuff got canceled because Remix decided, oh, hey, you know what? That's, that's stale. I don't actually need that. So uh, with use fetcher, when you have multiple current submissions out there and, mul uh, and therefore you have multiple revalidations also out there at the same time, Remix will commit the fresh revalidations to state and you'll, you'll see your UI update in real time like we saw we had like two states in there, right? Like uh, everything was, was uh, grayed out and then um, a couple of them disappeared at the same time. Um, and so it'll commit those updates along the way and then it will cancel anything that it sees is stale. So stale means that a, uh, that a request went out, but then a later request went out and landed sooner than the earlier request. So we know if this request, or we, we're pretty sure, that the request that goes out later is going to have more of the correct information from the server. So if it lands sooner, we can cancel the one that started earlier. Let's do it again. This time, I want to get rid of all this stuff. Let's just, let's just have these things happen a little bit more in order. And most of the time, the stuff does happen in order. That's why we don't usually fix these things, especially with development servers. Almost every request is processed in order, so developers don't usually see this bug. It's usually your users that see these bugs. Okay, here we go. No throttling. Got a handful of people in there. No more, no more random stuff. And let's just kind of watch how the UI goes. So they pop off when they got deleted. So you can see use fetcher is pretty powerful. Um, and this is a much nicer looking <laughs> network graph down here that time. So each time the one of these things got deleted, they get popped off. So there you go. There's use fetcher that allows us to have uh, multiple concurrent submissions at the same time, uh, which also allows us to put pending UI on multiple things at the same time. Uh, but we still don't have to deal with any of the revalidation of data or keeping our server in sync or keeping our UI in sync with our server. And we don't have to worry about propagating these mutations across uh, the user interface and across all, our, all of our components in the app. 
uh, Remix just takes care of that part because it is the thing that talks to the server. Hope you enjoyed it. That one was long. Hope you hung in there. See you next time.